Hello, wonderful people. Welcome back to my channel, The Teacher's Best Friend. And this is Mary Lou Areño. I know it's been a while since I made a video. Uh, a lot of things happened in the past few weeks. I got busy with work and yes, I got sick as well. And I think at this time, um, we are all um, afraid if uh, we feel sick. So I just isolate myself and um, recovered. So now I'm back. But uh, during my isolation, I did not forget you. I also read your comments and responded to them. And there are a lot of teachers asking for guidance and I did uh, provided them. Uh, teachers are emailing me for so many questions and I just responded to those questions as well. But anyway, the purpose of the Teacher's Best Friend channel is to empower teachers and to guide teachers who are dreaming to work abroad, especially in the United States, um, to guide you with how to apply for a job, what credentials, how to prepare for interview, and all those credentials that you need to uh, prepare. So now I'm back and um, I'm, I'm ready to answer your questions again. And the title of this episode that I am recording right now is, this is the perfect time. And why did I say it is the perfect time? So it's January, 2022. And uh, this is the time that most schools are planning for the next school year, which is the school year 2022 and 2023. They are trying to figure out what are uh, the positions that they need for the coming school year. And uh, most of the schools also are advertising the positions that they need. So if you are planning to apply for this coming school year, and I do hope this COVID-19 situation will improve and uh, we can all go back to our normal lives uh, because it is restricting also all the travels and even the processing of the documents. Um, you know, uh, I am aware that currently the U.S. Embassy interview schedule is closed. And I guess they are full with uh, how, how they schedule their interview. And hopefully they will open soon because there are still a lot of teachers waiting to book their interview at the US Embassy. So that, that is the situation right now. So why did I say it is the perfect time? Because um, school year 2022 and 2023 usually starts, um, their classes starts um, June, July, August, and for some schools until September. And because of uh, the slow in processing of everything, it is the perfect time now, January, to start looking for schools that you are interested with. And uh, of course, what kind or where, where uh, do you want to apply? What states in the US? Do you plan to go to New York, to Colorado, to Texas, to Arizona, to Utah, and, and other states? So this is the best time for you to look for job vacancies and start submitting your application. So I am here to guide you, and uh, I am going to show you some websites now that you can look for job vacancies. And I would like to um, share my screen so that um, you can see what is in here. So the first screen or uh, website that you can see right now on my screen is uh, the Chicago Public Schools. So usually if you are planning to work in a place or a state like Chicago, you go to a website, a big website where you can uh, look for a lot of job vacancies. So here it says careers. And there is a, a button here that says apply now. And um, it says work with us to provide a high quality educational experience for every student in every 
neighborhood in Chicago. So this is the perfect website that you can visit if you plan to apply in Chicago because it will lead you to a different schools in Chicago. And um, this is the, the URL or the link, https www.cps.edu slash careers. So I will not click apply now because I am just going uh, to show you how to go to the website and how to do the submission of application, okay? So there are even other information that you can explore, like uh, Teach in Chicago. They will explain to you how to get the license for teachers, okay? And um, in this website, it says here, CPS job board apply now. So there are so many links here. And uh, what is interesting here is they even have a separate uh, link for international teachers. So click this one, international teachers, and it would lead you to a lot of information about uh, how to apply as a teacher coming from abroad. Okay, so um, it says here international teachers offers robust world language and bilingual English as a second language and all that. So, uh, so please do visit and you can even check the benefits for teachers and uh, for foreign governments. And, and look at that. These are the current countries uh, that they are in partner with, the Chicago public schools. So Philippines is one of them, Japan, China, and Spain. So. And uh, there is even a link for those that are interested to do J-1 visa. Uh, they will, the link will show you where to uh, inquire to process your DS-2019. So these are very helpful websites. So start exploring now and submit your application. And then if you have questions, uh, don't hesitate to email me at the teacher's best friend at gmail.com, okay? So that is for the Chicago Public Schools. And the next website that I am going to share to you is the New York City Department of Education. So it's the same thing. There are tabs here on top. And of course you go to careers. And then um, if you are a teacher, then click teacher and um, it will also tell you the preparations that you need to do, okay? So NYC, Department of Education, Career Development for Teacher, Current Teachers, and um, here, Pre-K Teaching Opportunities. So if you click that, uh, it will tell you where to apply and uh, what are the opening for the teaching opportunities or the teacher's position, okay? And teacher certification, get information about certification for both prospective employees and current employees. So this is for New York Department of Education. So this is the website that you can visit. It's HTTPS um, www.schools dot nyc dot com slash careers and then uh, slash teachers so but this is the website that you need to explore to find job vacancies and to get information for applying for teaching certification in new york city okay so good luck and then if you have questions and um there are some link that you can access sometimes you know the website if they restrict them based on geography. So if you have a problem doing that, I can help you and send you the link through your email, okay? So the next place that you can visit, and I know there are a lot of Filipino teachers and other foreign teachers that work in New Mexico. So that is the New Mexico Public Education Department, okay? So, um, for educators, it says here, um, it, it tells you for licensure, what are um, the licensure requirements for different uh, grade levels 
and all that. And um, you can even, um, if you click other other link here, it will it will lead you to some job vacancies. Okay, education information, social studies, literacy. So explore the website of New Mexico public schools. So you can find a lot of uh, information from licensing to job vacancies, okay? So here, um, there are link to licensure application portal. You can click that if you know what are the requirements that you need if you plan to apply in uh, New Mexico, in the US, and um, a lot of other information that you can um, discover in the public education portal of uh, New Mexico, okay? So look at that. There is even application and forms that you can download. And there is uh, one for reciprocate. When you say reciprocate, it's a re reciprocity process. And usually they honor um, the teaching certificate in other countries like the Philippines. And the only thing probably that you need to find out is they need a uh, fingerprint clearance. And um, usually you can request for the fingerprint clearance card and capture your fingerprint in your home country and send them back to them with the application and fees and they will process, okay? So th those are some of the important um, link that you can or tabs that you can click for the New Mexico Public Education Department, okay? So in the education portal, educator portal, that is also the portal where you can find uh, job vacancies, okay? So that's for New Mexico. So we did uh, Chicago, New York, New Mexico, and let's try the Arizona Department of Education. And I know there are a lot of teachers who are emailing me that they cannot open the portal. Maybe it's restricted, but um, if you have a chance to, I don't know what how other teachers are doing it because they can also access it. And sometimes I send them directly through email the job vacancies or, or the link, but you can uh, explore certification and career and even review their their standards okay and later i will show you uh like a search engine and you can bypass their website by clicking the position and the state that you would like to apply so but this is how the arizona department of education looks like uh, there are tabs for um, educators you see their certification and career so that's where you uh, you look for certification requirements, okay? And the one that I am telling you is this search engine. These are some of the search engine or like recruitment portal where you can bypass their websites by doing this. Like for example, um, you... I, I uh, type teacher, if you're a teacher, and then there's a place, New Mexico. So you can look for some job vacancies here. Fifth grade teacher in Las Cruces, New Mexico, teacher for social studies, teacher for elementary, that's Crown Point, Roswell. So uh, you, can, you can bypass their website and go to Indeed, www.indeed.com. And um, just type in here, teacher. You can even uh, be very specific if you are a high school teacher. And then here, uh, let's say Arizona, because you cannot access the Arizona Department of Education website. So let's try to search here, find jobs for teacher. So there is a science teacher in Buckeye, Arizona and social studies 
in Kingman, recruitment for biology teacher in Chandler, that's the city on, in Phoenix area. Uh, they even indicate already, see, as early as now, they are recruiting for 2022, 2023, biology teacher, technology teacher. So, um, so this is really the perfect time for you to search. And um, there are some old posting here, maybe they were not able to fill the position for the year, so it's still here. So if it is you that it, they are looking for, then submit your application, okay? And um, if, you, if you click the positions, they will lead you to their website as well or to the portal where you can submit their application. Like for example, this is the science teacher. If you, if you put that here, it will show you apply now, okay? And then you can uh, upload your application there, your credentials, your resumes, and even the copy of your um, transcript of records and diploma. So that is a very good place to search for different states and, and job vacancies. So you type your position here and type where you would like to work, what state, okay? So that is indeed.com. And then the other good portal that you can also try is it's called Zip Recruiter. You know, you, you don't need to go straight to Zip Recruiter because there are quick link you, that they can direct you to the employer or to the website. So this is just like a search engine. So four to six lead teacher that's in Phoenix because I click Tempe, okay? But if you, let's say, try to click Texas, let's see what will come out. If you are interested to go to um, Texas, okay? So let's, let's explore. I am just showing you that there are so many ways to, um, to look for job vacancies. So that you can even enter your email there and then they will, uh, they will even, um, they will even send you some alert, you know, for teachers. So in Texas, so it's in Austin, teacher at Alzara University. And uh, look at that teacher in Brownsville, Texas, explorer teacher, assistant teacher. So Round Drop, Texas. So, so many early childhood teacher. So this is the search engine called Zip Recruiter that you can try for searching for a job. And, and you know, other teachers, they prefer to use agency. There's no problem with doing that but you need to be very um, prepared with uh, expenses that will entail if you use an agency because they will do the job for you, they will do the searching for you, but you, you will pay every step of the way. But here, if you would like to submit your applications directly and um, wait for your interview, and then um, if you go back to my old videos I have shown there where to process the visa, like the agencies that you can use for the J-1 visa. And they welcome everyone. You can even submit your application to them and they will be the one to look for um, employers for you, okay? So you can review those. And then another website is called the diversityjobs.com. It's, it's still the same pattern. I, I just searched teacher and then uh, tried Denver in Colorado, and this was the one who came out. So it's, it's really a very good uh, way to look for a lot of job vacancies and start sending your application right now. So they have special education teacher and it's immediate, okay? There is a English language uh, development coach, early childhood teacher, middle school English and speech and debate teacher that's in Colorado and middle school English. So special education teacher. And 
just just continue searching and then um, apply, send your application. And there are other um, tabs here that you can click until you explore all the job vacancies. So my advice for you is uh, explore all the job vacancies, submit, make a lot of copies or save it in your computer. Just keep uploading, upload as much as you can, you know, and uh, the more application that you send, the more chances of you getting a call for an interview. And then when you are about to get an interview, you can email me. I can guide you also for your steps, okay? So those are some of the websites that you can explore. And then um, I hope you will start your processing and your application for the school year 2022-2023 because this is really the perfect time to, to start the process, okay? So um, if you have questions, don't forget to email me at theteachersbestfriend at gmail.com. I can answer your questions. And for the new viewers, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. And I'll try my best to upload videos every week now. And um, from time to time, I can respond to questions regarding application, but I wanted to focus more on professional development, how to help teachers become the best teacher that they can be, especially with uh, instructions, best practices, classroom management and uh, addressing behavior, okay? So thank you for watching and uh, please click the notification button so that you know that uh, there's a new video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So thank you so much and to God be the glory. So bye for now. See you next time.